YouTube, it's RS Mario here bringing you another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. All right, so today I decided to do a list. All right, eight new Pokemon that need to be in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, I mean, originally I was gonna try to find like a bunch of animals from Spain or Iberia to be in the game, but I was like, eh, I wanna spice it up. I wanna add some different kind of animals in there. So now it's just eight animals in general. There should be new Pokemon. Of course, if you like videos like this for me, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, and do all that stuff that YouTube requires you to do to continue getting videos from me, as well as follow me on Twitter, like my video tweets, so that way I can shout you out at the end of every video that I do. Let's get into it. So the first up on the list is the giant petrol. Okay. So if you haven't ever heard of the giant petrel, I, I'm sorry, I'm about to tell you about him right now. <laughs> All right, so the, the giant petrel is a big flying bird. It doesn't live in Iberia, but it does live on planet Earth, which in itself is just a disrespectful notion. And it should be a Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? Now, of course, why is this thing so? Why is this thing a flying demon? Well, because it eats anything that it wants, just about. And it really has a pension for baby birds or other birds all right it will kill them drown them but it really likes penguins and it's a very particular way it eats penguins let's just say this thing's favorite rapper is probably Kevin Gates and it don't get tired but it would make an interesting Pokemon though I could definitely see it as being a flying uh, dark type because you know it's so evil also, it could be a flying poison type, all right, because this thing has a self-defense option, as if anything wants to bother with this thing. But if you do happen to be the unlucky thing that wants to try to kill a giant petrel, it will vomit on you. Yes, and what this, um, imagine getting hit with pre-digested booty meat, okay? Vomited booty meat. After that, like, that's it. Like, my life as a predator, my life as a predator is over. I'm, I'm going vegan. The Llama. So, of course, I did a video, uh, Fake League Theater, about a week or so ago, where um, one of the um, one of the fake Pokemon was, like, Llama Rata, like, a Llama and Armada, you know. And I was like, you know, there really should be a Llama Pokemon. Like, llamas don't exist in Iberia, as far as I know of, but they do exist in a place where Iberia had a lot of influence on, and that's South America, you know? Not to mention, we don't have a llama Pokemon. Like, there should be. We got camels. We got goats. Why not llamas? Not to mention, you know, more than likely, if this thing was a llama, po was a, to become a Pokemon, it would be a normal type. Which would be okay. It would be probably one of those like one, what non-evolving Pokemon is just there, and it's like a, a normal type, which is okay. But personally, I think it could be like a normal ground type or maybe a normal rock type because it climbs up mountains. That would be kind of cool. I mean, you would have a four X week to fighting, but it's still a llama Pokemon. I'm still probably gonna run it. Cretinoas Gingus, otherwise known as the Tentacle Moth. Yup, this sucker is straight out of some kind of Japanese hentai. Uh, and yes, it, it really does exist. That's real, bro. That moth is real. And those tentacles are for what you imagine they are for. Uh, they are the, Him doing that is essentially his, like, Look at me, I'm flexing Instagram picture. You know how, you know, influencers always have those Instagram pictures? Look at me, I'm working out. Well, that's essentially what this is for him. All right, these tentacles prove that this moth had a really good diet as a caterpillar. And look at me, I'm very healthy. You should come and want to host my babies. <laughs> I can see this thing as being a really good bug dark or bug poison type Pokemon. Easy. You know what I'm saying? Bug dark because it's probably already in somebody's nightmares. <laughs> All right.
right, so the next one is the Leaf Slug. So the Leaf Slug is... I would make this like a regional Gastrodon because Gastrodon needs to be in every Pokemon game. Like, come on, he's like one of the best Pokemon ever. He needs to be in all the Pokemon games. And this would be the regional for him in this game. Uh, now, Leaf Slugs are weird because you think this thing like lives on like leaves and plants and this whole green stuff is a camouflage, but no, this thing actually lives in the water. It's a water bug or a water slug. Uh, and the reason it's green is because it's one of the few like animal organisms that can actually use photosynthesis in a way like a plant. So it's literally like a it's already kind of like a grass bug type Pokemon, essentially. And I can see it doing that. I can see it being grass bug, even though it would get killed by fire types. But I can see them doing that. Or it could be water grass because it lives in the water, you know. I could definitely see this thing running like solar power or drizzle or one of those abilities like that. Like, come on, this thing would be cool. <laughs> Okay, so the Amazon River Dolphin, another South American animal, uh, of course, you know, South America is connected to Spain because of history, uh, but also this thing is already a living Pokemon. Like, it, this thing is a shiny Pokemon in real life. It is a pink dolphin, and to this day, they still don't know why he's pink. I mean, the, the theory is, is that all the abrasion that he gets in his life just makes it pink. But, like, I mean, eventually that would heal and he would be gray again. So, they don't really know why it's pink. It's just pink. But it's a river dolphin, which makes it kind of interesting. The other thing is, um, you know, it comes in uh, already with its own Rule 34. Like, you don't even need to make anything for this. Dolphins have been humping chicks for years. <laughs> I could definitely see this thing being, like, a pure water type or a water fairy type. Or maybe even like a water psychic type because, you know, pink things usually e either end up being psychic types or fairy types anyway. Even though I do realize that uh, Japan has a real murder boner for dolphins, so this probably will never happen. <laughs> a man can dream, though. Alright, the Armored Cricket, otherwise known as one of those, like, AT walkers from Star Wars, the Clone Wars. This thing does, it reminds me of one of those. But it's an armored cricket. All right, so basically it's a big cricket that's really hard to kill because it's really hard. And I could definitely see this thing being like a steel bug type. You could say this thing is like the evolved version of like Durant, because what's the point of that Pokemon? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or it could be like a regional Cricketoon. Like for whatever reason, like Cricketoon was tired of getting murdered, so it became hardened, and now it's an iron steel Cricketune, and it's steel bug type. I can see that, you know what I'm saying? So we already have a couple Scorpion Pokemon, uh, but this one is the big Scorpion Pokemon. It's like, its scientific name is literally Boothus Elongatus which is basically um, Latin for a big-ass scorpion. <laughs> so, essentially, yeah, this thing should be a Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know we have Darpion that's already kind of a scorpion Pokemon, but we could have this one. He could be, like, ground dark or ground poison. You know what I'm saying? I could definitely see him having, like, a Hyper Cutter, like either Hyper Cutter or, like, maybe Tough Claws for an ability. Alright, and the last one being the glass snail. Now this one is the is the thing that inspired this entire list. The glass snail is a cool looking animal. So basically it's this snail that lives on the wall of muddy caves and for whatever reason its shell is completely translucent. You could you can see straight through the shell right in there to the uh, the, the the snail. And this thing inspired this list when I saw it. And I was like, wow, this thing should be a Pokemon. And then I just made a list of other animals that should be Pokemon in the game. Uh, but this thing is cool. Like, I mean, there's not a great deal known about it. Because, again, it lives in muddy caves. 
But I could definitely see this thing uh, being a rock bug type or a rock or a bug ground type. And it could definitely have either weak armor, water absorb, or maybe tinted lens. Because of course, you know, tinted lens would work for something like this. Clear body could also work. I didn't even think of that one. That one was not in the script. I went pro bono with that one. Um, but yeah, all these would be great additions to the game. Uh, so tell me what animals would you like to see be Pokemon in the game? What new Pokemon do you want to see in the game? Tell me in the comments down below because I like talking to you and I like hearing what you have to say. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button. And uh, as always, people, keep it real.